center teacher who sorted out fierce far-left mobs for the benefit of Antifa is suing the U.S. government for setting out to open her connections to household psychological oppression. A Judicial Watch California Public Records Act, CPRA, asked for with the Berkeley Unified School District, BUSD, to get data about Yvette Farka's brutal activism has fueled an officially tense legitimate dramatization between the educator and people in general area that utilizes her. JudicialWatch.org reports, the instructor, Yvette Fulke, works at Martin Luther King Jr. Center School and is a conspicuous figure in By Any Means Necessary, BAMN, a sorted-out activist gathering established by the Marxist Revolutionary Workers League that utilizations boisterous aggressor strategies to dissent traditionalist talking engagements. Over the late spring Fulke was captured and accused of a few wrongdoings, including crime strike for impelling a mob in Sacramento, as indicated by data gave by the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office to a Berkeley News outlet. Fulke was caught on video calling a man a Nazi and punching him in the stomach over and again while yelling obscenities at him. More than 12 individuals were harmed in the uproar, no less than 10 with cut injuries, and the state house grounds endured a great many dollars in property harm. Bust has blamed Fulka for mentally conditioning and influencing understudies for a considerable length of time and in a 2016 letter referred to in a neighborhood news article the area composes that her execution reflected amateurish direct and unacceptable execution, the two reason for expulsion. The instructor over and over requested understudies to take an interest in challenges, utilized understudies to help her very own political motivation and more than once utilized leave time to go to settler rights walks in Washington, D.C., despite the fact that the region says it isn't a passable use for individual or wiped-out leave. It was obvious that you and her, by any means necessary, Agents were currently endeavoring to mentally program and control these youngsters to serve your own egotistical advantages and not being considered responsible to similar tenets that apply to every other person, the letter states. As an instructor, your direct was especially indefensible. Earlier this year the area was assaulted with calls to flame the contentious educator. Legal Watch documented the CPRA to acquire records of correspondence between region heads and King Middle School staff saying the words Filrica, Antifa, by all means necessary and BAM and also the educator's faculty document. A week ago bust Superintendent Donald Evans reluctantly reported that he will conform to Judicial Watch's ask for the records since he is lawfully required to do as such. Evans composes that it's conceivable Judicial Watch is leading a witch chase to threaten and deny free discourse rights, however says all that really matters, the law is evident that an open organization's refusal to agree to a legitimate demand may bring about considerable case expenses and lawyers' charges forced on the office for its refusal to go along. The director reminds that courts have clarified that the inspiration of the requester looking for open records under the CPRA isn't a premise to dismiss a demand, regardless of how irritating the demand might be, or how frightful the inspiration for the demand might be. Forca reacted by suing the area to shield it from satisfying its lawful commitment to give Judicial Watch the records. A King Middle School staff member named Lori Nixon and an instructor, Larry Steffo, joined her in the protest, which contends that Judicial Watch is abusing the law for political means and the locale should decline to give the data. It additionally calls Judicial Watch's record ask for unlawful. Evans, Buston King Middle School Principal Janet Levinson are named in the protestation. Legal Watch and Bust try to put on open show the messages of instructors and staff at MLKMS a school group that has been safeguarding Fulka in the city of Berkeley from conservative assault, the educator's grievance states. Litigant tries to direct a political witch chase, disregarding plaintiff's security and chill their right to speak freely, flexibility of affiliation, and ideal to participate in insured exercises and upsets their open capacity as instructors. The court report clarifies that Berkeley has ended up at ground zero in the battle against Donald Trump's strategies of hostile to migrant scapegoating and inclination toward making the tyrant administration. Berkeley is at the focal point of restricting the alt-right and neo-Nazi hooligans who have over and over focused the city definitely in view of its standards of hostile to prejudice.
resilience and the right to speak freely, the documenting says. This case will have colossal effect on the future course of this battle.